Personally, I think this is one of the most underrated relics mod out there, as it's not too overpowered, but the art style and the ideas are really unique. I found this mod a while ago, and even though it wasn't suggested to me, I wanted to review it. I even got some comments about a reviewing relics mod, and I really think this is something special. This time you cannot just scavenge the world to find some special artifacts, but you need to search special places to find specific relics. So let's start. Arrow Quiver Found in village Fletcher's and or Butcher's houses, has a 20% chance to shoot three arrows at once. Only in the Butcher and Fletcher houses of the village. But keep in mind, not all villagers will generate chests in these houses. Only the Fletcher house in Taiga and in Savannah, the Butcher House. Bastion Ring Where could this one be found, hmm? While killing piglins, you will be able to see the nearest Bastion with a 30% chance, found in nether fortresses and bastions. Blazing Flask This one was just added. It can consume fire around you for a really cool effect. Double jump to get slight crater flight with a fire buff. All entities under you will be on fire. Again found in Piglin's Pestion and Nether Fortresses. Camouflage Ring Grants ability to hide in tall grass for one minute while sneaking. Slowly regenerates when you aren't using the ability. While in this, you deal double damage. Can be located in Jungle Temples. Chorus Inhibitor Obtained in End Cities Now if you eat Chorus Fruits, a 30 second timer will start that will teleport you back to the location where you ate it. If you eat more Chorus Fruits during that activation, the timer will be increased by 30 seconds. It removes all teleport damage. Delay Ring Another ring in the end city is the Delay Ring. If you receive fatal damage, you get an extra 10 seconds to heal, where all incoming damage and healing will be calculated together. If you healed enough to surpass the damage received, you live. If not, well, you die. This can be found in end cities. Drowned Belt Found in shipwrecks and underwater rooms. With this belt equipped, you can indefinitely breathe underwater. But in exchange, you swim slower. You will deal, but also take more damage while underwater. Elytra Booster Again found in end cities. Absorb the energy from Dragon Breath by default with Sneak to be able to ram mobs and increase your speed while holding down Sneak. Ender's Hand. This artifact found in end cities lets you teleport to the enemy you are looking at while sneaking. Fragrant Flower. Now you can have a bee horde fighting for you. While having a fragrant flower equipped, each attack will send out bees near you to defend you. But that's not all. You can now as well use the pollination to stack nectar, which when you sneak can be used to heal players, damage undead or grow flowers. Can be found in mineshafts or jungle temples. Holy Locket. This one increases the damage dealt by undead, but you have a 25% to ignite them. Desert pyramids and desert villages. Hunter Belt. With this artifact, you will get double loot from mobs. You will inflict more damage to animals and also increase your pet's attack by 3. Found in villager butcher's houses. Icebreaker. Sneak while you are falling to inflict a shockwave, which will damage entities. Get it in snowy or tundra villages or in igloos. Ice Gates Increase the movement of ice. Grants ability to ram mobs while holding right click, inflicting damage and knockback. You can freeze water under your feet. It's found in snowy village, tiger village and igloo. Jellyfish Necklace Acquired in underwater runes, shipwreck treasures. While underwater, you will heal double amount. It will charge while swimming, dealing electric shock waves when colliding with mobs. Lucky Horseshoe Obtained in village shepherd houses. With a 10% chance, triples players luck in looting. Magic Mirror Teleports to the last known spawn point. Obtained in strongholds and mineshafts. Magma Walker can temporarily condense lava on the player's feet. It has four stages where it will start damaging entities. This artifact will also uh, remove any magma damage. Found in nether fortresses and ruined portals. Midnight Robe 
In this win in the dark and increase movement speed at night if your health is lower than 20%. Attack will double, but Invis will stop for 5 seconds. Obtained in end cities. Rage Glove. Located in Piglin Bastions and Nether Fortresses. With this one, combos are activated. With each combo, damage is increased by 10%. But the same implies for incoming damage, so watch out. Reflection Glove. This is basically the opposite of the Rage Glove. With it, you are able to take all the damage received and inflict it back. It can charge up three times. Every charge takes one minute. Obtained in Bastions and Fortresses. Scarab Talisman. This relic found in desert pyramids and villages will increase your speed in desert biomes, but as well remove all damage received from suffocating or falling sand. Soul Devourer. When you defeat entities, their soul will be captured by this artifact. Even your attack will be increased by 10% each stack of souls. But if you hold shift, you can release those souls to generate a lethal shockwave. Found in end cities. Space Dissector. Throw this disc at your most hated foes. Not only does it damage everything in its way, it will bounce off of blocks and return after a number of bounces. If it's still bouncing, you can TP to it with shift click. Again, in end cities. Spatial Sign. When activated, it will teleport you back within 30 seconds to the place where it was activated. If you take a fatal damage during that time, you will get teleported back. Safe and sound, but in, in exchange of a broken artifact. Stellar Catalyst. This artifact grants a chance to have a star falling onto your foes after you attacked. Your damage has to be more than 3 though, and its damage is equal 50% of your already dealt damage. Well that was today's video, if you ended up liking it then please leave a like or maybe even consider to subscribe as only 11% of you are and let me know which was the most interesting artifact for you. And now I would say we'll see us in the next video. Ciao!